Well, I've got no idea how this video is about to turn out, considering as soon as I went to start recording this, this is take number two of my big camera. It just died. Got no, got, got no idea what's going on with that. So we're using the Canon M50 for this. I got the Canon 70D down there giving me an error code. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. And today I want to talk to you guys about prison food that you are guaranteed to eat if ever you get locked up. And before we get into this video, I do want to take a moment and just talk about prison food in general. The food that you are going to eat coming out of that chow hall or coming on that tray or through that chuck hole and into your cell. You know, when I think about the prison food that they're going to serve you when you're locked up, two things come to mind. Uh, the first is when I was in prison, I was at Indian Creek, probably had about two years left. And remembering this one time at breakfast chow, it was snowing outside. We had to walk through the damn snow just to get to the chow hall. It was super cold outside, super cold inside of the chow hall. You're bundled up, you're freezing, and they were serving a syrup tray. And you know, a syrup tray in prison, that's your pancakes or your French toast, maybe in some cases waffles. And syrup trays are either a fan favorite of prisoners or other prisoners like myself. You tend to hate them. Because you get them like two or three times a week. You get real sick of eating some prison pancakes with some watered down syrup. But during this one particular time, we had pancakes on the tray for breakfast. I got my tray. I'm looking at this disgusted. I sit down at the table. I'm sitting at the table with this old white guy by the name of Holt. He was a super country dude, but a hell of a pop lock dancer. And in fact, I did a video a long time ago talking about the type of dance that he did and the dance-off between him and a guy named Cheeseburger. But I was sitting there complaining about the size of these pancakes, which were about the size of a quarter, like a piece of change, maybe a little bit bigger than that. And I was like, look at what they're feeding us. You know, this is horrible. How is this supposed to fill anybody up? This isn't the amount of calories we're supposed to be getting. And Holt would make a comment that would stick with me till this very day. And he said, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Joe? You're either going to eat it or starve. Eat it or starve. And I don't think there's a more powerful quote or a powerful saying in relation to the food that you're going to be getting served when you're locked up. Most of that food is going to be horrible. In a lot of cases, it's going to be outdated. It's going to be food that has been donated to a facility or food that is processed at some sort of a prison plant. It goes without saying that prison food just definitely isn't, you know, it ain't no golden corral. That's for damn sure. And sticking with that notion right there, which brings me to the second thing that I want to share with you guys, I will never forget. And this might even be one of the thousand million things, who knows how many, that keep me focused on staying out of trouble and making sure that I myself never go back to prison. And I hope in some way I motivate any or all of you to never go back yourself. But I will never forget when I first got locked up to do the seven and a half years that I got sentenced to, I'm in the classification cell block with my co-defendant. We're both in the same cell together. He has never been locked up before. A young little whippersnapper. This dude is just loving life. This is a story he's getting ready to be able to tell people. He thinks this is the coolest thing in the world that, you know, he's locked up. We're locked up together. Little do he realize, you know, this is not a good thing at all. And I'm sick, not like dope sick or nothing, but I am legitimately mentally defeated, deflated, and just sick. In fact, T.I. says in one of his songs, he says, have you ever gone to jail and slept till day two? Well, shit, when I got locked up that time, I slept for like a week straight. And most certainly for the first two or three days, I wasn't eating no trays. Me and my co-defendant, we are in the same cell together. Every tray that comes through there, he's eating my tray. Yo, you can have it, man. I'm going back to sleep. And he's loving this. Yo, this is the greatest food. Man, if I'd have known this food was this good, I'd have been here a long time ago. Shut your dumb ass up, man. Damn, you sound stupid. But who am I to talk? The first time I went to prison, I said something similar saying, you know, if I'd have known prison was this sweet, I'd have been here a long time ago. Moving on. Folks, we're going to talk about food that you are guaranteed to eat when you get locked up. And let this be a reminder. <laughs> the jail or prison is nowhere that you want to be. Roll it. I did legitimately just steal that from Keemstar. 
There was this post that was tweeted to me this morning. I don't even really use Twitter anymore, but somebody tweeted this to me and I found this very interesting. It was on a website called Imger, Imger, something like that. It says 20 jail slash prison meals. And it's this tweet from this person, Paul C, shout out to you, that inspired this video. Now, all 20 of these meals are actual pictures of the tray. I don't know how the hell they were able to take these pictures of these trays because you really don't find, or at least you used to not. Used to not. Joe, that grammar. I feel like it used to be a lot harder to find pictures of legitimate jail and prison food because, you know, they don't really want to be showcasing what they're feeding you. Maybe they should do that to advertise you know, for the third time, prison and jail is nowhere that you want to be. But I think to myself first seeing this post on Imger, Imger, I'm going to stop trying to pronounce that because I don't know how to. All of these pictures must have been taken with some sort of a contraband cell phone. But your secret is safe with me. So let's go ahead and look at some food that you are guaranteed to be eaten. Serving time. Starting first with this picture right here of this hot dog tray, which, you know, this is actually a boss tray. I ain't never been locked up nowhere where you're getting three hot dogs. They don't even give you no hot dog buns. You got what looks like some wheat bread. But not only you got them three boss ass hot dogs on the female side, they're probably gonna be cutting those up. You've also got like two good heapings of rice and some vegetable medley and steak cake. You know, there's two different things that steak cake represent. The actual cake that is manufactured inside of a jail or prison kitchen, which you know, the best way that I can describe eating steak cake, which is so, so dry, it's almost like when you take a bite into it, it's like somebody took a baby powder bottle and just went right in your mouth. That joint's going to leave you with more cotton mouth than the devil's lettuce. You're going to need to take a drink, a big old swig of some water after you take a bite of some steak cake. It's usually not that good. Sometimes it is, but in more cases than not, it's not. Steak cake can also refer to a prison meal that guys will make where they take a honey bun and put every freaking sweet thing that you can buy off a commissary on top of that. Soon as you take a bite of that, you go into diabetic shock immediately. Your eyes become dilated the size of some prison pancakes. And people are gonna think you on drugs. That sugar high is gonna be severe. But this hot dog tray that we're looking at right here looks pretty boss. They must have made some sort of a trade to get that extra hot dog. Or maybe they told something. Yeah, you definitely told something to have three hot dogs on your tray. Moving on to this next tray right here. I have no idea what this is. It almost looks like loaf. Neutral loaf. What they're going to feed you at certain facilities when you go to the hole. It is a form of punishment food. Is what it is. I don't necessarily know if that's what this is or not. It kind of looks like that. Also looks like you've got some applesauce. Some type of cookies, maybe a fruit roll-up, don't know what that is. A prison roll. Mm. A prison roll is like a rock. That stuff is oftentimes as hard as a hockey puck. Also looks like you've got some pureed potatoes right there and possibly some prison cabbage. Now again, I'm not really sure what this main course is right here. It might be some sort of prison stew, but if I was to take a guess at this, uh, this is what they would refer to at prisons I serve time at as a manager's special, where they take all of the leftover stuff, your meat rocks, your mystery meats, your everything, put it up in a huge bowl, heat it up, and call it stew, a.k.a. the manager's special. This is a terrifying looking tray right here, but what are you going to do? If you're locked up, you're either going to eat it or starve. We ought to turn this video into like a little game. With every tray, you guys let me know, would you eat it or would you starve? Ironically enough, with any and all of this food, there are prisoners who have to eat this. They ain't making no commissary. I've been that prisoner before. And to go even further with that, there's prisoners who actually like these trays. Oh, we got the manager special today. Hey, who ain't eating the manager special? This next tray, it's not a guarantee that you're going to get this everywhere that you serve time at. This tray might also be referred to as a boss tray. And I can remember being at places where we got this and it was a boss tray. But looking back at this now, it's almost, it's almost disrespectful. And what this next tray is is prison pizza. Now, this slice of pizza right here actually looks really good. Is that DiGiorno's? DiGiorno's? How do you say it? But that's about all you got up on that tray. You don't even got no cake on that tray. 
You got you a piece of DiGiorno's and you got a vegetable medley and some cabbage. Oh, they gave you a double serving of the vegetables. <laughs> and if you've never eaten prison cabbage before, it's usually the most bland stuff in the world. Now, at least on this tray, looks like you got a salt and pepper uh, packet. You got some condiments. And I've never eaten seaweed before, but if I had to take a guess as to what seaweed was like when you were eating it, it probably would be a lot like some prison cabbage. Now, the reason why I said that this can be a disrespectful tray is because the prison pizza that I've seen coming out at the chow hall is usually that same type of pizza that you're getting in elementary school. You remember them long rectangle pieces? And you'd be lucky if you get you a long rectangle piece. It might be a half of that long rectangle piece that you used to get in primary school. But this actually looks like a pretty good tray right here. What is that, a meat lover's? Moving on, it wouldn't be jail or prison without the mystery meat, sweat meat, cold cut combo tray. Guaranteed, hands down, I don't care where you're locked up at, Alaska, Arkansas, Arizona, don't matter what state you're in, every state is serving cold cuts. Sweat meat, mystery meat, meat that is legitimately sweaty. Now, in this particular case, this is a boss tray. You got two different types of meat. What is that, salami and bologna? And then when you're looking at this bread right here, that almost looks like you got some peanut butter too. You got you a couple of condiments, four slices of bread, possibly four slices of meat. You got a soup that comes with this, potato salad it looks like, and also coleslaw. I don't know where these folks are doing time at, but this looks like a pretty sweet place to be locked up at. They feeding you good even on the cold cut combo. Now this tray reminds me of something specifically and that is prison coleslaw. You know, sometimes, and, and I'm a fan of coleslaw. Do you guys like coleslaw? Like when it's prepared correctly? KFC used to have the best coleslaw in the world. Popeyes, they got some okay coleslaw, but prison coleslaw is almost like a slap in the face, bum. You ain't about to have none of the mayonnaise or whatever the hell else you need to make coleslaw up in there with that cabbage and whatever other vegetables it takes to make that. You literally are just getting the coleslaw salad. No condiments added. And that right there, you ever eat, you ever eaten raw cabbage? That stuff is bitter and pretty nasty. This next tray also looks like a pretty boss tray. What is that, a corn dog right there? Got a piece of cornbread, vegetable medley, a salad, and maybe some sort of apple cobbler. Apple cobbler while you locked up? No, where are they serving food like this at? If you've ever been locked up and you've ever eaten this good while locked up, please comment down below and let me know what state and facility that was at. I've never been anywhere that feeds you this damn good. That's a pretty boss tray right there, but don't get no ideas. Even though they might have a boss tray or two, it's still not worth it to get locked up. So if you're thinking, you know what? I mean, shit, they got corn dogs in prison. I'm about to go, I'm about to go. I know Joe keeps saying it ain't no good, but I'm about, I'm about, I'm about to take me a little trip. I'm warning you, you're gonna be, <laughs> gonna be highly disappointed. Moving on to this next tray, I guess that this would probably be some sort of a chuck wagon, maybe a chicken patty. I don't know what they've got going on on top of that. Is that, uh, what's that fancy cheese called? I can't think of the name of it. Uh, but this tray definitely looks like it's been regurgitated right there. We got a piece of that uh, baby powder steak cake. We got a little fruit salad right there, or like a fruit cup that's been dumped out in the tray, and some green beans. This is definitely going to leave you more hungry than when you started with this. I don't see any way that you're gonna get full off of that right there. Hopefully you got you a ramen noodle up in your locker because you're gonna need it after eating this. Moving on, we've got a breakfast tray and I have never been locked up anywhere where they serve your waffles at. Maybe these aren't contraband cell phone pictures and maybe these are pictures that are taken by the staff. Because usually, and like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, how you can't, you used to not be able to find all that many pictures of prison food, or at least I couldn't, the stuff that's coming out of the chow hall. But any pictures that you would find would be your boss trays, your more dressed up trays. They ain't gonna show you that shit on a shingle that you guaranteed to be eating. You could, you could hot tar a roof with that shit on a shingle. Biscuits and gravy is, is really what it's supposed to be. Usually doesn't have very much taste. The texture is a little disturbing while eating it. Not very good. But waffles and cornflakes and a sausage patty and some butter? Where's the syrup at? 
Oh, man, that's almost torturous right there. They're gonna give you waffles with no syrup, though. Shit, at least here in the state of Virginia, you're gonna get you some watered-down syrup. They're gonna take one bottle of syrup and mix it with 10 gallons of water, but at least you got something that's supposed to be syrup. This next tray is a really interesting tray right here. This is what I think is a bean tray. You've got your special diets in prison, whether it's uh, your religious diets like your kosher trays, your diabetic trays, and sometimes those special diet trays eat a lot better. I've seen them get tuna fish, boiled eggs, tons of peanut butter, like a, a soy meat stir fry while we're sitting there eating some manager special. But there's also times when all they get is a bean tray. And this don't even really look like a bean tray. This looks like bean soup. With a half-eaten piece of steak cake, piece of cornbread, some puree baby food potatoes, and a vegetable medley. I like how they've got that one single solitary carrot right there in that little condiment slot. I wonder if they did that on purpose. I think this next tray is a Salisbury tray, and this is a boss tray right here. Folks, you getting you two brake pads wherever they serving time at, or somebody told to get that extra cow tongue right there. Now, Salisbury steak is what it's supposed to be, but it's one of the most interesting meals that you'll eat in prison because it's got a million different names. Cow tongue, meat rock, squirrel meat, brake pad. But their Salisbury steak looks like a damn hamburger patty with some gravy on it, some nice looking green beans right there, a nice looking piece of cornbread. That's a big old fat piece of cornbread, two slices of bread, and two packets of butter. Where are these trays coming from? You don't even need to make no commissary if you're eating this good. Moving on, we've got the beefaroni. Would not be serving time if you weren't getting the beefaroni. Sometimes you're gonna get noodles that ain't all the way cooked. You could crack a tooth biting into what's supposed to be a cooked noodle. I found hair in beefaroni before. I found, ugh. When you get a tray like this, you really gotta like dig around, make sure there's no dead bugs or anything in it. I've seen the oatmeal with the dead bugs in it. I've seen dudes who have found just crazy shit, a Band-Aid, <laughs> oh God! Go ahead, get locked up. I'm telling you, it's a hell of a ride. Especially when your only options are to eat it or starve. Another disrespectful slap in the face, boom! On this beefaroni tray, you got those two steak cookies right there. Those two steak duplex cookies. Did I ever tell you about the time I heard about this? I didn't see this take place. But these guys played a, a, a joke. They did a prank on a guy that didn't have anything. They knew he was going to go for this. They took some duplex cookies, some steak cookies. They cleared out all of the frosting from them. They put toothpaste, state toothpaste, for the frosting, put the cookies back together, wrapped them up in the cellophane, left them out on the table like bait. And this guy that was less fortunate, didn't have anything, he came, he grabbed those cookies, he ate those cookies, or he took a bite of one of the cookies, and he was so mad. I don't know what happened after that, but I would love to be able to tell you that that dude whooped they ass when he found out they did that, but I don't know if that happened or not. Vegetable medley, two slices of bread, and a little scoop of butter on that beefaroni tray as well. Not too bad. Next tray, tacos. But in this case, it's taco soup. You got you some corn chips. That ain't bad. You got you some potato wedges, a vegetable medley, and some sort of a fruit cup. That ain't a bad looking tray right there at all. All of these trays, actually, I thought these were going to be like horrible trays. I wanted this to be a scary video to deter people from going to prison. This video actually might be doing the opposite. Y'all, they eating good. The taco trays that I've seen, and like I remember Norfolk City Jail was one of the worst. And this is, they fed you so bad at this jail. And even with that, like everything was just such small proportions. The food was just thrown all over the tray. And I remember taco, the taco tray being one of those trays. Shit was just everywhere. And it was a boss tray. And to look at a tray that looked nothing like this picture right here, and that was your taco tray, and dudes are like, hey, yo, I'll let you get the TV tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. That way you can watch Sons of Anarchy. Shit, you could have this taco tray. I'm trying to see what's going on. Next tray, I don't know what this is. Some kind of turkey a la king, chicken a la king. It looks like a hefty little portion of it right there. This steak cake's even got some powdered sugar on top of it. Where they doing that at? Piece of cornbread, little bit of butter, vegetable medley, you ain't doing too bad at all right there. I actually want to make some chicken a la king out here in the real world. 
I've never had it out here. And I know I've done a video before talking about it. And in that video, I said that I never even, I didn't even think it was a real meal out here. And a lot of people commented and were like, yo, it's, it's a real meal. So maybe we can do a cooking video at some point, actually trying to recreate some prison made chicken a la king or turkey. Next tray, you got you a hamburger tray with all sorts of condiments. You got salt, pepper, ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions, tomato, and lettuce. This tray is a farcity. This is an absolute lie. I ain't never been locked up nowhere where you're getting all of these dressings, all of these toppings on a damn hamburger tray. Where's the cheese at, though? And let me find out it's in that little cup right there with them french fries. This is a dangerous tray right here. This is a tray where dudes ain't gonna be playing behind this and you might get poked up for this. You also got you a sweet, I mean, that shit looks good. Almost looks like some watermelon, some blueberries with some yogurt on top of it or something like, gosh almighty. This tray make me wanna go get locked back up again. What is that, queso cheese? I ain't never seen no tray that look like this. I'm guessing this next tray is some kind of a barbecue tray. You got you a bun, you got you your barbecue right there, your pulled pork, what the? <laughs> These are made up. Somebody went and bought them some prison trays and, well I can't say that because some of this actually is legit. You got you some corn, you got you some pasta salad and a chocolate brownie. It's really better than a TV dinner right here. I ain't got no idea what this next tray is right here. Some sort of rice and gravy, possibly chicken and gravy, some beans. Maybe peach cobbler? Piece of cornbread, two slices of bread right there. Shit, I'm getting hungry just looking at this stuff. And again, I can't reiterate, I can't emphasize this point enough. Do not let these trays give you the wrong impression of how they are feeding you in there. You've seen the Facebook Live videos, you've seen the pictures that have actually been taken with the contraband cell phones. This shit right here, this is dressed up for the camera. This is dressed up for the real world to see. Because even though every once in a blue moon you might get a tray that looks like this, 99% of the time the rest of them trays, they're gonna look like they just got kicked down the hallway to you. Damn sure ain't gonna be looking this clean and this good. We ain't got three more trays left. We're gonna run through these real quick. I don't know what this one is right here. It looks like uh, a hamburger. This looks more like the hamburger tray that you're gonna get. It looks like a hamburger patty, two slices of bread, some kind of a salad right there, whether that's a potato salad, that's a lot of potato salad. Beans, ketchup, and a little jello cup. Even though you ain't got all that lettuce and tomato and toppings that you had on that last tray, shit, even if you don't even eat that brake pad looking hamburger, that potato salad and them beans gonna fill you up. Another sweat meat tray right here. We got our two slices of bread. This looks more like a sweat meat tray. The only thing that I see wrong with this is in that big slot underneath that sweat meat, mystery meat, and that slice of cheese, you are not gonna have that pasta salad right there. That's gonna be reserved for one of them small slots. You got you a prison apple right there, or as I like to refer to as horse apples, tiny little hard apples. I found worms and rot more times than not up inside of a prison apple, uh. I found worms and rot more times than not up inside of a prison apple. I'm trying to remember what this is called. This is like one of those uh, chicken fried steaks. I can't remember what you call this right here. Some sort of a chuck wagon or a, I don't know what this is. Another meat rock tray right here, possibly chuck wagon, possibly chicken fried steak. You got you a scoop of potatoes right there some carrots, an apple, two slices of bread. This is not a very fun tray at all. No perks with this. Steamed carrots. God, I hate those things. Does anybody actually like steamed carrots? And an apple for dessert. What type of a slap in the face is that? Folks, all of this is food that you're guaranteed to eat when you get locked up. The problem with it is, is uh, they, they make this look way better than what it's really gonna be. So don't get the wrong idea from this. Maybe this was also like some sort of a reaction to these prison trays and the lies that they are. Maybe at some places they are feeding you like this. I ain't never been nowhere that's feeding you like that. You know, the budget to feed prisoners plays so heavily into the food that you are gonna be getting served and trying to save money in that budget because I've heard this, I don't know how true this is or not, but you know, if they're able to save money from the money that is allocated to feed the prisoners, then they get a bonus for doing that. 
And that bonus comes from that money that they save. Crazy damn thing. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment on this, letting me know exactly what you thought about it. And as always, until next time, never go to jail or prison. Enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace!